Hey man, listen up. We got a patch hot fixes coming on Friday, tomorrow, maybe today, and throughout the weekend. Okay, I talked to Mike Wayne. Personally, I was there within the stream that y'all probably see a lot of people talking about. I was within the stream offering ideas and critiques. I'm gonna tell you everything that went down. We're gonna go over a lot of screenshots that I collected. And we got 2K Lab exposing Mike Wang in 2K24. We gonna go into that. Mike Wang talking trash about 2K Lab. We gonna go over that. And also, do not watch this video if you are a double twister on your knees with your mouth wide open, okay? It will disturb you, okay? I'm here to just laugh about it, man. I'm a vet, my boy. I'm good, you feel me? Hemothy, 96 plus 1% every year. I'm, I'm fine, bro. I'm just laughing at it. We just reporting on one of the most broken 2Ks ever. That's all, bro. <laughs> it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest K in existence. Before we get into all that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. Help me hit 280K.7. We are eight subscribers away. And make sure you hit that goddamn like button. Help me get 200 likes within the first hour so Young Swan can grow. Can y'all do that? It's easy. It's easy. Now, Baluba tweeted this out. He said he'll get rid of defense related speed ups first and see if that makes timing more consistent. Okay? A lot of comp players are saying speed ups were basically non-existent before the recent latency patch and all that. And now once that patch hit, the, the speed ups and slow downs came into effect. And the, the release timings are just completely changed. Everyone's saying every release that you, you pick, it's basically earlier than it was. And it doesn't line up with what it tells you when to release the ball so that's a huge issue he's saying he's gonna try to adjust that but this possibly could not happen okay in the in the stream we had it going in a good direction to really fix a lot of things he probably wouldn't have did it no way <laughs> but we had it going in a good direction right but then bp came in and Fana came in, okay? I like both these people, right? But they kinda, they kinda shook it. They kinda messed it up because they words whole weight, right? Especially Fana, since he's a new guy on the scene, right? And you, you know, he, he got the, uh, the stream numbers, all that. He flying out there helping them make the game, you know? They, they not gonna listen to certain people that's uh, more over seasoned, right? So he his word hold a lot of weight with the devs right now, right? This might not even get implemented, dog, because Fana was saying that he don't have a problem with the speed up. Fana was saying that he don't have a problem with the 23 speed up. Like he was really saying like he wanted that hole in the game. And my thing is, I think Fana and BP, they don't look at the game from an overall perspective. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. I think they're so worried about creating separation versus everyone else in the game. They're not worried about overall game. They're worried about creating separation between them and everyone else. Fana believes that he has shot timing mastered. He believes that if the game is slower, and this is probably the slowest 2K ever, and casuals and comp players do not enjoy that. He even... Fanta even admits that everyone's moving like snails and all that, right? But I'm telling you, there's certain comp players that they want everything to be nerfed because they believe that it can help them differentiate they self even more, stand among the ma amongst the masses. Which, you know, that's a different perspective, but I don't believe it's true because as you can see, 2K24, everyone says, is one of the worst competitive 2Ks to ever exist. And so was 2K23, right? But then in the games that were faster, right? You know, you could speed boost faster, you could launch faster, you could, you know? That's when the skill gap was there. You could really show, you could really show your true difference versus other players. The game is now going into a state where you can't show your true dominance over other players even though you're 10 15 20 times better than them you're so constricted and limited that this hoe's not even a real 2k like i'm i've been playing since the first 2k i'm i'm telling you the real this is not a real 2k okay i'm, I'm just telling you yeah you, you don't gotta believe it i'm just telling you dog but 
Yeah. Within the stream, they were talking about the IQ of your my player when trying to pass the ball, right? And they, it's very dumb. Like people, they have very high pass accuracies and all that. And your player does this long load up pass. Sometimes the pass doesn't even register. And they was trying to get that fixed. It don't look like it, it, it can get fixed maybe in a future 2k but um a lot of those players i don't have a high pass accuracy build so i couldn't tell you but splash was saying basically that it you're worse off going with a high pass accuracy build because of some of the uh animations you go through to pass the ball you know and um when you play better people someone could be wide open and you kind of go into an animation then bam they got that whole another big issue with the game you might notice it you might not right here mike wayne says limitless is stupid 30 foot bombs shouldn't be a regular thing now look listen guys i also am not for limitless being crazy i bro i come from a different era dog y'all y'all not i'm the i'm the reason people even care about win percent do y'all understand that like when people were little kids and all that bro i was the guy with the goddamn 98 win percent in 2k 15 14 playing with my IRLs, like I was that guy putting out, the, you know, like I'm the one who put people onto the moves. I been telling people Limitless ruined the game. 16 had all gold badges. 17 introduced the Hall of Fame badges, the takeover, the grand badges. I have been said that messed up 2K competitively, right? But Limitless is it's in the state of the game, how it is now with how slow you are, you might need that hoe, right? Because with the contest, the speed ups, all that, like when you play certain people, you might need that hoe, right? Now, people shooting them damn full court shots just consistently, crazy, crazy, insane. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't, you know, but my whole thing is limitless is broken, right? And you can't just make a decision like this especially when the three point is so damn expensive this year. like tell people before they make they build he told no one right everyone's shooting from the parking lot and now he just ruined limitless he doesn't have a true ability to really fix it and there's like a gray area where you can't even really use limitless right you can have hall of fame limitless you're not going to notice that much of a difference gold you're not going to notice that much of a difference silver you're not gonna notice that much of a difference and now it's like silver is probably the your best bet in this 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 message basically means limitless is gone they they had enough of what happened in the beginning of the game limitless is gone he said this with 19. i don't know if y'all remember the the uh momentum spin back he said it was like dumb or whatever and when he says that about something it's done it's looking like limitless is gonna be done uh, people in comp pro -Am, they can't even spot up at the hash. That's been something that's been in every 2K. People could spot up at the hash. I'm pretty sure, right? I don't know about the uh, 16 and 15. I don't, I don't remember. Uh, and 15 post patch is what everyone remembers. But there was a pre patch was like the hardest shooting 2K ever. But people don't remember that because they wasn't around. They wasn't outside. But some of the best players in the game are standing on the line to shoot the ball because limitless doesn't work right it's creating a lot of problems with the game but hey it's looking like limitless is going to get somewhat buff but maybe not because fanta and bp uh when they got in the discord they were saying that limitless is it don't matter they just wanted the contest to uh they just wanted ghost contest to go go away and for there to be less of a slow down and speed up type of thing see baluba says limitless needs a better design it's not just a simple buff okay he's saying right now he can only make it worse or better he can't completely redesign it it's looking like see look i want limitless to impact three to five feet behind the three-point line but right now there's a dead zone that's not affected by limit look he's saying he can't fix the badge he can only increase the badge's effectiveness in its current state which would buff 30 foot and beyond, but not 24 to 30. You see, the 24 to 30, you're not getting limitless, you know? Now, Mike Wayne, he says something else, right? Lateral quickness is tied to perimeter D, not speed. Now, this don't make sense. If you look at my past videos, 2K Toots is showing 
when you hold L2 and you go, a 25 is moving, a 25 uh, perimeter D is moving at the same speed as a 99 perimeter D. But once you change your speed, that shows your lateral quickness moving way faster. But then he says, but the speed deltas aren't strong enough. We're going to tweak it next pat. Um, <laughs> for y'all out there, it's looking like the lateral quickness. So for y'all that made low perimeter D, you might be a little, when you press L2, you might start moving in slow-mo. You feel me? It's cause he, he wasn't trying to be funny. He's being dead serious. Everyone's in the cord, right? I'm gonna tell you what it is. I'm really a brainiac on this hoe, right? But Luba really thinks that all the content creators and skilled players, content creators get way too much hate. Uh, a lot of content creators are really actually pretty good at the game, especially with the amount of time they put in to still be in the 1%, just because they don't challenge them, them other 50, 100 guys, that don't mean they not empathy. You know, like when you balance content and you're still good at the game, I think that deserves a lot more respect than it's getting, especially, you know, because if they just didn't make content, they could just be a comp player. And then you could really see how far they could really prove their, their essence. But anywho, Baluba says, how many of you guys are using Zens? They're, they're laughing, right? But Baluba really thinks this. He thinks most comp players are using Zens and that's why they hate the speed ups and the slow down. He wanted to say this to hear their reaction. Now, I can't agree on more comp, like the comp scene, some of them more often than say the casuals, like say you did out like a thousand people, there might be 50 people using Zens in the comp, but is there even a thousand people in comp? And if you did a thousand casuals, it might be one. <laughs> so it's like the whole game's getting ruined just because of a few people with Zens, but I think they just need a better fix. There gotta be predictability. It can't just be random releases happening all the time. But Luba's telling us, and he's been saying that when you get contested, it only speeds up. It doesn't slow down. But Fana in the stream, he's showing evidence of that whole slowing down, right? And this is true. I think like that. I think that's low key always been a thing to be honest. I can remember like when I when I get like contested, it's like it kind of gives me a different animation and I have to hold it kind of longer. I don't know. It's kind of always been I think. But the game's just at a state of just there there's there's just no predictability, bro. And a lot of comp people are and just people that's that's on the scene, they're they're saying that casuals are enjoying the game and decent players aren't. This isn't true. Y'all listen to the video, you're a casual, and I'm sure most of you aren't enjoying the game. Most people don't like the game too much, and it's just a fact. A lot, tons, bro, millions of people quit every year, but they're replaced, and then they also do a lot of fabrication of their numbers, and all different type of methods to pull all different type of increases in the basketball sport. You know, they have a whole monopoly over this hoe. So it's like, bro, I'm telling, I'm trying to explain to people who just play the game and stream, but it don't seem like they understand. Dog, I've posted on Instagrams, tickies, straight negative 1% casuals. They're, they hate this hoe. Bro, make 2K. I guarantee you if 2K did a poll, bro, that hoe would be negative. If they sent out an email, that hoe would be negative. It is a misconception that casuals enjoy these casuals 2Ks. They don't. Because look, if if this guy's over here struggling to not go crazy, what is this damn bot gonna do? You feel me? The only people that's somewhat enjoying this hoe is the people that's envious of skilled players and they base they whole if they like the game off if skilled players are complaining about it. Literally. There's a there's a whole organization of these envious people. Like, oh my God, he's complaining. Yes, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> like, but if, if that didn't exist and they're just going off what they truly enjoy, they would tell the truth about this. Oh God, oh God. Like the game's completely broken right now. So y'all are really seeing like who's out there like defending it. Like this hoe is broken on like all levels. Completely broken, bro. Like, we're still in the alpha. We ain't even made it to the beta yet. Now, WLR says the only way to fix cheating is to get rid of the color in the green window on the meter so the Titan can't read the color and just have people time it towards the end of the meter. Let me know if this is true. Luba says some of these things can be addressed by the weekend. Okay. Now, 
Baluba was explaining to them because they were asking why can't they shoot around in the pro -Am arena and this was very clutch since they took the my court out the pro -Am arena was a perfect place to go right to shoot around not even just for the pro -Am players just for people in general to test their moves all that right but he's saying it has to do with improving matchmaking y'all let me know if y'all buy that me for instance bro give us our my court first off bring my court back i think it's a promotion ad thing because you have to go to the Gatorade facility. That's more our seeing Gatorade, visualizing it. That helps their dollars overall. And they can take those numbers saying, oh, look, look how many people keep going to the Gatorade facility over and over again. Look how much time they're spending in the Gatorade facility over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And then they also added in the body type change, also bringing in more hours in that. And I think they're selling the, those numbers to Gatorade to get more of a bat. That's just what I believe. I could be wrong. I could not be wrong. But it, it just don't make sense to get rid of the my cord and get rid of the pro am or I ain't buying it, dog. The my cord, like what? Like people, bro, Troy didn't used to run tournaments in them hoes. People used to run tournaments, used to 1v1 your friends. Now you gotta go to these courts all around the dam and this is, they're always full. And, bruh, I don't, I don't know, y'all Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about so, it. So people was trolling, saying they need to bring whites back, right? And y'all be thinking y'all funny, but <laughs> Baluba says, I do need to figure out something for the casuals. Green or miss is rough for them. Now look, I don't know what's wrong with people, man. I ain't gonna hold you. It really shows people's skill level or, or their IQ level. Cause a lot of people just know life this whole, so they kind of nice, right? But if they was to play a lot less hours, they would be way worse, right? But, <clears throat> bro, green or miss is an illusion, dog. Okay, so anytime someone tries to say it's green or miss now, shooting's harder. Da 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 da. That that that, that doesn't mean nothing, bro. Um, all they did basically is make whites turn green. That's all they did. Anyone that's decent at the game, no. green or miss does not matter. All they did was make those whites that went in turn green now. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it, bro. That That's all they did. <clears throat> he completely controls the make percent. The make percent is all that truly matters. Um, Baluba says he don't patch individual jump shots again. Y'all let me know if y'all believe that or not. We already went over that. Now look, Baluba's saying he hears a lot of people shoot great one game and then suck the, suck the next. That's concerning and suggests that speed ups aren't really the problem, okay? He's telling people that have no holes, no future, no goals, <laughs> that they are wrong and speed ups are an issue. The problem is there's no predictability in the speed ups. Sometimes you'll get them, sometimes you won't. Sometimes Someone will be a certain distance from you and you'll randomly get them and sometimes you won't. Then it just, it messes up your whole game, your whole head. You don't know what's going, right? But the, the random shot timings, it gotta go, bro. It's ridiculous. They ain't gonna lose. <clears throat> they, 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 gotta, they gotta make predictable shot time contesting. All that type of stuff happen. Then Baluba says, but speed ups would be consistent from game to game. That's why I'm worried it's a different issue. It is a different issue. It's the speed ups and other things. It's also the latency, the spikes, the goddamn random slowdowns, the, the different releases it gives you at times, the the ghost contest is, you know? Sometimes right before you shoot, you can tell that you're going to miss. I don't know what it is, bro. It, it's like a certain, I can't even explain it. Look, contest speed up the shot. He's saying don't slow down, but then they show proof of it slowing down. So Mike Wang's saying he's gonna remove the defensive variation. If you lose adrenaline or certain stamina, he's saying that that is gonna make your jump shot slower still. I think this is what this really means. But a defensive player not being, a, uh, being able to change your shot speed, he's saying he's gonna remove it and see if that's the problem. And then if it, if it is, he gonna keep it out. If it ain't, he gonna put it back. That's what it's seeming like. But look, with Ghost Contest being such a crazy issue within the game, dog, you can't really have these, these speed ups because the Ghost Contest can hit you and you get a speed up. You feel me? That messes up your whole game because then he not expecting a speed up and it's like, damn, like that, that that's not a skill gap. That's like a random, like, like you're just you're playing a guessing game shot speed up when defense is nearby look he's saying that he wants to make yellow contest easier to hit he's saying don't get hung up on the numbers i don't think this is good but i mean it it, it all depends like what what he does they they was kind of fighting against the yellow contest and all the numbers and stuff is 
It's a lot to get into. The the fact that Baluba is in the stream, this even validates everything I'm saying more. The fact that he's in the stream six hours all the way into the morning, 6 a.m., dog, basically tells you that he knows the game is completely broken, not just for the competitive side. Bro. The hoe is broken, bro. <laughs> so he's trying to get feedback. And y'all saying, like, these players don't matter. Why is he trying to get feedback from them? Because those players do matter. They know the game better than him. You know? We know the game better than him. But Baluba's saying it's safer to buff open and slightly contested shots in pro -am. Oh, not 20 times. He said three or four times bigger than last. Which year. doesn't make sense, to be honest. But maybe over the whole, like, chart of the green window, that's still the, it's, it's kind of inaccurate and out of context because it was not three or four times to, easier to hit your shot last year. Baluba's saying release is two frames before the ball leaves. The fingertips he says that's the best time to shoot on release but they were showing that that's not the best time and you actually got to release release sooner after that latency pack baluba says no good guards are shooting 20 percent from three now look this is true and not true okay when you look at their stats it doesn't say that but when they play versus each other in the game and you watch them they are shooting 20 percent they are shooting 20%. They're shooting horrible. They're going like 1 and 13, 2 and 9, all this and that. And then the only time they're getting a, a 3 off, like most of the time, at least 70% of their 3s are just, or maybe 80, might be 90. So it's like when you play people on your level or that's a little better than you, or just lockdowns in general, you're going to experience something like this. And they're just saying that's not realistic. It just ruins the game, the fun, all that. So Mike Wang called out 2K Lab a while ago, and 2K Lab finally responds. They say Zens were invented in May 2020. We have been testing jumpers since 2K17. We do not use Zens at all. And this dude says, y'all lying, y'all use scripts which is the same as Zen's. 2K Lab says, we actually restart the game after every attempt to prevent attributes increasing from getting hot and skewing data. Accomplishes the stamina thing too though. Any auto detection on multiple same timings in a row. The restarting is also automated. This kind of doesn't make sense because 2K Lab kind of gave out how they're doing stuff, but then they said they don't want to give away too much, but then they kind of explained it which could mean this is again YouTube. So 2K Labs say, we keep our testing methods somewhat secret on purpose because we don't want people to copy us. Assuming we test with a Zen seems perfectly reasonable, but it's inaccurate. If there's no RNG like Mike Wang says, why is it on y'all's testing? Do we see make percentages in the 50% on early da 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 da? But 2K Lab then says, just a theory, but I don't believe the window shifts around a little bit. You know how you get random speed ups on shots? So one attempt will be in the window and the next it won't. Damn, 2K Lab done exposed the damn RNG. And this is what we be telling you, man. It could be intentional, it could not. All I know is this hole is broken, okay? The predictability, the hoe is broken. The shooting is broken. If you're not talented, you probably don't even notice. It's just like certain players, they don't experience latency. They don't, they can't tell. <laughs> they might not even have, they just can't tell. They don't know what latency is. They don't know, if you don't know what it is, how do you know that you're being poisoned? That you're being altered? You don't know your true ability. You can't tell, you feel me? A lot of people don't even know about speed ups. They just think they mistimed the shot. They they don't know about the slow down of the shots. They don't know about this or that. Like they don't understand it. So they don't really know what's going on. But once you know what's going on, you see what's happened. So look, what do you guys use then? Just curious. We have a fully automated system. The majority of the code is Python. Why are they saying this if they're trying to keep their stuff secret? Something not adding up to K-Lab. And why even say this? I guess maybe he feels like he needs to prove himself somewhat because he knows people's going to cover it. 
and he doesn't want to lose the uh, trust of the community. I don't even know why I say this, like, because then they could try to get y'all up out of here. Then 2K Lab says he is just making a reasonable guess and happens to be inaccurate. Damn. Anywho, click on the video on the screen if you want to hear all about the season two paid pass rewards, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.